Hi, my name is Alfred Brock. I live in the city of Wayne, Michigan. And this is a tire. See that tire? I don't need that tire anymore. I want to get rid of it. It's harder for me to get rid of this tire than it is to operate a candy shop with confectioner manufacturing under the roof. The confectionery shop would be limited to 6,000 square feet total area for the manufacturing and the sale. But wait, that's not all. It's harder for me to get regulated and start up a confectionery shop in the Michigan in Michigan state than it is to get rid of that tire right there. And getting rid of that tire right there is really difficult. You got to pay extra if you bring it to the dump. You got to bring it to registered locations and do that all sorts of stuff. It costs a pretty penny, especially if you have a bunch of them. If I was going to get rid of, if I had some uranium, tritium, cadmium, radioactive uh, isotopes that I needed to get rid of, like material from um, Lewiston, New York, it's easier and cheaper for me to get rid of it in Michigan than it is to operate a confectionery shop with candy making equipment there or getting rid of this tire. It's cheaper to dump nuclear radioactive waste that was coming from, let me explain this to you. One of the bombs that was built during World War II was intended for Nagasaki. And they centered that development in Hanford, Washington. And they really, you know, I'm not criticizing them because I haven't made my own nuclear bomb, but they, uh, as we can see from some of the publicity that we we know about in the movie they really they really didn't know what they were doing they were doing whatever they needed to do to get that thing to blow up and they polluted and contaminated a lot of materials with radioactivity and then they uh they buried it a while later out there in Hanford Washington it turned out that the material was burning its way towards the Columbia River so they dug it up and they said oh we got to get rid of this and they hired a contractor who said he would treat it process it and he, they would do that in Lewiston, New York. So they trucked it all the way across the United States of America <laughs> by truck or train. I don't know how they got it there, but they brought a whole lot of it over there. And they put it in giant piles and they got it ready for processing. And then a year or two later, the federal government changed the processing rules for the contractor, priced them right out of the market. And it wasn't like there was another guy going to uh, another woman or guy show up and say, oh, I'll, p I'll pick up that contract. It was like nobody else that would do that. So they decided to bury it. So they buried it again in Lewiston, where it remained for nearly a century when the folks there figured out, oh man, it's burning its way to the Niagara River. And all 300 employees of the EPA in that area recommended moving it. They didn't care where it was going. They just wanted it out of there. There was also a lot of other uh, nuclear material that was unidentified, like this black, soft, uh, this black, smooth sand. And apparently some, some materials have been used to pave people's driveways, but this black smooth sand I'm talking about, there was a large amount of that. It's 50 times higher than, than, than even the, the workers can use. So the nuclear workers can be exposed to. And that was uh, in people's yards, playgrounds, all that sort of stuff. So they decided to move it out of there. A couple of years ago, without telling anybody in uh, Michigan generally, they had already brought a lot of that material here. Recently, they're bringing a lot from the Niagara Falls storage site, which is that material I was talking about from the Nagasaki bomb. And it's cheaper for them to bring it here and dump it in the ground next to the Huron River. That's the third river now, right? Columbia River, Niagara River, Huron River. Three strikes, you're out. And uh, it's easier to get rid of nuclear waste in the state of Michigan because they charge, I think it's like 36 cents a ton for tipping fees here. If you had tipping fees somewhere else, it would cost $85. I'm not saying that's good because this nuclear waste does not belong in the ground. But think about that. Dump one ton here. It's like 36 cents.
But if you want, if you want to dump in Ohio, Michigan, Wisconsin, New York, etc., it's like 84, $85 a ton. The reason this stuff is coming here is because it's not allowed in New York, so they, they wanted to get rid of it. And the United States Army Corps of Engineers has been helping them. So, uh, I don't know. They selected a registered location. So, it's harder to get rid of this or to start up and operate a candy shop that makes candy on site in the state of Michigan than it is to get rid of radioactive material and dump it in a watershed in the center of two million people. Hmm. Okay, thank you.